Good morning everyone, this is Richard from Seeker Training and it's Freak Out Friday, it's the 55th video and it's the 7th of August. Right, well, thank you all for coming. Hey, got my phone back up and working so I can quickly flip between screens. Uh, just quickly, let's do the uh, paperwork. If you haven't seen a doctor to allow you to exercise, please see a doctor or you can fill out my Park Q health questionnaire on the internet, which is below this video on YouTube or my video or on my website or at the, pinned at the top of my web, uh, Facebook page. Oh my goodness, words are not coming out today. Uh, <clears throat> fill that out. You don't have to fill it all out. Just fill out the first and the last page. The, the other ones are just actually, if you've got problems, fill that out, send it to me, and we'll get on to you. Right, there's no one seem to be coming into the room. I'm just gonna quickly check to see if people can get in. Hey, good. I was just I was just checking to see if people are coming in. People are coming in now, good morning. Right, so, that was a bit of a scare. Again, Facebook is changing all the settings, so when I'm actually recording this, it's a bit odd. No problem, it's good, good that people are actually joining later on and using the live stream, uh, live stream recordings. Right, so today's talk, well first of all let's go over what we're going to need. We're going to need dumbbells, water and a chair or a stool, depending on how low you want to get. Okay, so today's talk, I'm going to try and do this, see if this works. There we go. Excellent. So it's not the one where I can draw on at the moment. Sorry, I haven't got that set up. The pad had actually run out of charge. So we're going to talk about the knee. Right. So it's almost like the Monty Python of the large. Right. The knee tends to be one of the main joints in the body which actually has problems uh, a lot more than anything else. The shoulder and the knee are the worst ones. Uh, most people get it because of the damage to the patella, which is the, if I, can, if I can find the screen, the wrong one, that one there. You should be able to see my pointer going around the patella. Okay, so it's the bone which, which floats uh, above the uh, tibia and fibula and below the... Uh, I've gone completely, completely blank now anyway. <laughs> As you can see, it's, it's been a strange day so far. Right, it's been also very busy. But, right, so, knee problems. Right, so, mainly with knees, knees are designed to flex and extend. Okay, they can hyperextend, and that's where the actual patella gets trapped in between the bones. Uh, and it's not advisable. Uh, it can become very mobile, uh, especially in youngsters and pregnant ladies, uh, due to the hormones which are actually released. Uh, what I'm going to show now is I'm going to see if I can try and use this. There we go. Can I use that? Has it actually come up? That's the main thing. Yes, it's changed. So there you go. You get the front view just there. And as you can see, you can see the muscles are mainly, all the striations are all going downwards, apart from a bit of the, uh, the, the thigh, which is actually going sideways. So, round the uh, patella, there are two main muscles, the sartorius and the uh, tibia anterior. Sorry, not tibia anterior, sorry, uh, uh, IT band. They support the knee around the top of the uh, top of the knee section just there and underneath it is the uh, vastalis medialis and the vastalis internus uh, which goes round the knee and supports it and keeps the patella in place. Now most people who have knee problems it's because one of those muscles has actually become deficient and the other muscle is pushing the patella in a certain direction so when you bend your knee it's grating against the bone. There are other problems which can happen inside the knee, uh, where you have little uh, tendons inside. So you've got the meniscus, you've got the AC joint, uh, you've got the synovial capsule, which does can tend to get compressed and pushed and even burst. So you've got to be careful about your knee. Uh, the main thing to do is 
you start off to try and find out first if it is the muscles. Okay, if you've got problems with your knees, it's probably the muscles to start off with. Okay, so what you could do, you could do a, a thigh, standing thigh stretch, see if that relieves the pain. If that relieves the pain, then basically it's probably the tight muscles around the sides or the uh, what is like a little skin underneath your skin. Uh, you know, on chicken, when you get a chicken breast, sometimes you get like a little film on top of it, which you pull and it kind of looks like very thin cling film uh, or cling wrapping for American. That's fascia, okay? That covers our entire body. Sometimes that can get very tight. I mean, very tight. And it can pull down. So basically stretching it, uh, myophilical uh, release, that can help as well with rolling things on top of it, as long as you don't roll onto the bone. So hopefully that's actually made you more aware. I can't see the screen now, I've got everything up. That's better. So I hope, hopefully that's actually taught you a little bit about the knee and how to actually solve some of the problems. Basically, it's the muscles around the knee. Uh, a lot of people are, are going for operations on the knees and it's not necessary. So try, the stre uh, try some stretches, try some strengthening exercises first. If that doesn't work, then go more for uh, a surgical approach, okay, or, a, a, or an internal look for a start. Okay, right, so I'm gonna go back to the standard scene. There we go. Put that away. <laughs> Gosh, my brain's all over the place at the moment today. Right, so, uh, also yes, I've, I got tested yesterday for COVID again, so for my clients to, uh, basically say that I'm free of uh, COVID and I got the results back today and I am again negative, which is great. Uh, it's brilliant in Barnes, I don't think there's been any case in the last week and a half. But unfortunately with the rest of Pendle, it's uh, keeping us down. I have had some uh, phone call, I've just had a phone call actually, just from the Pendle uh, Environmental Health about working in people's homes and the guidance says, uh, I can work in people's homes if I'm particularly uh, PPE'd up, so protected up, and uh, but they recommend that anyone in the, the bad areas try and put it off for a while. So it's all going to be a work in progress. So I just thought I'd update people on that and I hope people understand. Okay, right, so let's get on this. Let's get, we've got a Boris to follow away. Let's go for the fun okay. bit, okay? So we're going to start by warming up by Margie on the spot. I hope everyone's all right today. It's lovely and uh, bright outside at the moment. Quite warm as well. Again, what we'll do is we'll go wide. And we'll go now. Wide, narrow, wide, narrow. Good, what we're gonna do now is gonna go one, two, three, four backward, forwards, and one, two, three, backwards. See, so back to the starting space, and go. Three, four, back, two, three, four, forward, two, three, four, back, two, three, four, forward, two, three, four. Excellent, good. And we march on the spot a little bit. Right, let's get those shoulders working. So we're going to do little circles, arms out at the side, little circles. Keep marching at the same time, may as well keep that blood flowing. Try and make the circles a little bit bigger, okay? Don't want to do this too long, don't want to wear your arms out. So bigger circles. That's it, and bigger circles. And for this one, you're going to watch your fingers at the back and bigger circles. That's it, good. Right, stop, just roll your shoulders. Get the tension out of it. And we're going to do it backwards. Not that way. But we're going to go, if you were going forwards, we're going to go backwards now. Work the muscles slightly differently. And bigger circles. And bigger circles. And bigger circles. To big circles. Backwards. 
excellent, good. Shake out the shoulders. There you go, excellent. I'm just walking backwards and forwards. I like this as a good warm up. You can even go sideways, destroy the cupboard behind you. You don't have to. Margie on the spot. Good. All right, let's do some reach overs. Really stretch those side muscles. Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to actually stretch some of your hamstrings. So we're just going to go down, touch your shins, and up again. So your hands are running down your legs. So you're looking forward. Looking forward to something, maybe coming out of lockdown. Feel those nice stretch over your hamstrings. Excellent, go back to walk, imagine the spot again. We're gonna push forward. So we're not marching anymore, we're just pushing forward. We're not putting the hands across each other, we're just pushing forward like we're pushing an imaginary wall away. Brilliant. Right, I'm going to show you the first exercise. Just keep marching on the spot at the moment. What we're going to do is going to get the weight, get down into a nice squat position. Feet very close together. Okay, we're going to do the skier. So I'm going to get down and what we're going to do is going to, as we go back, we're going to bounce up and down. So it's like a pulsing squat, but we're together and we're up, it's got bicep curl as well at the same time. Are you ready? Are you set? Are you? Go and get those weights. That's it, I'll wait. Right, three, two, one. Exercise one, one. Let's go. Let's try and keep that back nice and straight. Looking towards the, uh, oh, I'm losing words. I can't remember what the words are. The thing at the bottom of the wall, skirting board, that's it. You'll find that the last exercise on this as well, it's very similar to this, but it's more higher. But it's a different, it's a different way of doing your arms. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Brilliant, Change. right. We've got the reverse lunge shoulder press. So we're gonna use the weights again. What we're gonna do is gonna reverse lunge and press up. Swap legs, press up. So you really gotta keep your balance going. Okay, so you need to keep your tummy tight. Two, if you have problems two, with doing it together, one. do the lunge Exercise and one, then press two. up. You don't have to do it at the same time. Let's go. So if you have problems with your balance, you'll go lunge back, get your balance, press up. Okay, good. Fifteen seconds. Five. Three. Two. two one. one. Right, Change. this is where we need either the box or the chair. Most people probably use a chair, it's easier and more stable. I'm going to use a box. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hands on the side of it. Keep the bottom up in the air a little bit. Three, and to the side, two, and jump over. One. Exercise one, if you don't want to three. do impact, bring your leg nice and high. Over and cross over. Okay, let's go. So I've got my shoulders off my hands, so I'm pushing down on the stool. I'm not pushing like that, because it'll move. So I'm bouncing on my toes. The higher you go, the harder you work. Five seconds. Three, two, two one. Change. Excellent, right, gosh. We're gonna go back to the dumbbells now. We do coordinates. So we're gonna go, can I remember which one I do first? Up. 
out, pink, to green, Three, two, all green to pink, one. Exercise one point up, four. out, side to side. So these are coordinates. Still trying to get my breath back, I'm actually from the box jump overs. I like covers. What do I call them box jump overs? Ten seconds. Three, two, two one. one. Change. Right, we're gonna do dumbbell punches. It's a nice wide stance. Punch down a little bit, so you got a stable core, nice tight tummy. We're gonna punch out, forward. Try not to overextend. It's not really about back twisting. Three, two. One. And go. Exercise 1.5. As you can see, I'm rotating my hands slightly to work the biceps a little bit more. Seventeen seconds. It's getting very warm now. I wonder why. Five seconds. Three, two, two one. one. Change. Excellent. Right, we're going to do TikTok. One we haven't done for a long time. So it'll be nice high arms. We'll be from side to side. Like a pendulum, but on the level. Okay? Try not to twist too much Three, in the hips. Two. It's more in the one. thorax. Exercise 1.6. Thorax. Strange words coming out today. Twenty seconds. Don't know about you, but my shoulders are feeling a little bit tight now, which is good. 10 seconds. Five. Three. Two. two one. one. Change. Brilliant, right? Roll those shoulders, right? We're going to do the choo choo. Yeah, okay. I, I named it after a, a baby waves in train. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go around and just bounce up and down very slightly. So, it's a bit like the skier, but we're going to be going round in circles and three, bouncing up the upper two, range. One. Not the lower range. Exercise 1.7. So we're working the muscles a little bit better, a little bit different. If you want, you can do the choo-choo noises. Go on, I know you want to. Choo-choo! That's it. So try and get your shoulder blades down as well, especially when you go in the down position. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and water break. Put a bit of water. Uh, from the presentation this morning, I think I prefer going on the pad. So next time, I'll try and charge it up. I'm sorry about that. My fault. Eh, no mat today. No, don't need it. Which is good. Get ready for the skier in 40 seconds. Wow, these, these rest periods at the moment and the warm up look lasted for ages but the main exercises didn't which is good i would say if an exercise session goes quickly you've enjoyed it if it goes slowly you haven't so basically change something to make it fun okay 
Right, so let's go down to that lower section to do the skier. So we're going to bounce on the lower part of the actual uh, uh, flexure of the knee. So this will actually tighten up both Three, sides of your knee. This is two, great, especially um, when it's being together. You can do the outside one. more. So let's go. So you can see this is slightly different than the choo-choo because the choo-choo you've actually got your legs further apart. Now if you did this slightly further apart, you'd do different slight parts of your muscles. Now you could even do it wide. But that's a bit problematic, especially if you, if you do a downstroke too fast. You could end up hurting yourself. Five seconds. Three, two, two one. Change. Brilliant, right, reverse lunge, shoulder press. See a lot of these are actually shoulder based exercises apart from that one. So we're doing reverse lunge with shoulder press. Remember if you can't, if you have problems with your balance, do the lunge, one. then the press, two, all together. Two. Everyone else will be going down and up. Don't feel so you have to. That's it, 20 seconds left. So, on the box kickovers, the next one, which did you use to use the chair? On the step. Three, two, two one. one, change. Right, I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna, oh sorry. I'm gonna get the chair out this time. Show you how I do that. This is how I normally do it in my classes. We use the chair, chairs from the Civic Hall. Three. So you start from two, one side. One. Exercise and you keep it over. Three. This is actually easier on your back. Also, if you find that your top rides up, stick in the back of your, your leggings and your shorts. But still, have your shoulders above your hands. It's the main thing, you need the downward force. 10 seconds. Try not to hunch up your shoulders as well. One, change. Right, coordinates I believe next. So roll your shoulders back. Because you get as you Three, know from the first two, time. One, very shoulder heavy this time. It's up, out, side to side. it. Just get the rhythm going. Ten seconds. Three, two, two one. one. Change. Brilliant, right? Roll the shoulders again. Remember we've got the dumbbell punches next. So the shoulders are going to be up. If you want to interject some Upper cups instead, so your shoulders don't get too fatigued for the TikToks. Quite happy with that. Three, Just don't do it all. One, right, you ready? Five, hunch down, and let's two, punch. Five. Oh, yes, I've bought some new royalty free music, so I should be able to put them on. I haven't put them on my pad yet. I'm still actually sorting out which ones are just jingles on which are actually full tracks. But I've got over 700 of them, so I've got quite a few to go through. Five, so a bit of different music, which is nice. Two, one, brilliant, right, we're gonna do TikTok. 
So we're going to go from side to side again. As you can see, one of mine goes straight to the elbow. That's because I'm not really twisting. I'm not doing any twisting motion. I'm just trying to work the shoulders on a horizontal motion. Two, one. Right, let's go. Exercise 2.6. It's not like thriller where you just slightly turn to the side. I'm just trying to actually work the muscles in a different way. Something which is quite similar to how you would scrub a step. Very old fashioned to, uh, type, of, type of doing something, but something that people should be doing. 12 seconds. Five. Three, Three, two, one. Brilliant, change. right. Okay, roll, roll those shoulders, get those tension out. Get ready for the choo choo. Choo choo. Maybe I should have done it like that. <laughs> I bet I'll have like a right Wally doing that. Well, right Wally doing Three, this, but two, you know, that's the job. <laughs> right, so high seven. bouncing round those hands. Try to get the shoulder blades back as you go backwards. So it's a good rowing exercise as well. So it's to the back of your shoulders. You should feel your shoulder blades pinch ever so slightly. Hopefully you can see it through the t-shirt. You don't just see me going up and down, looking like a right goon. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, two one. one. Brilliant, last time round next. Minute and a half rest. Get some water down here. One thing I have noticed is, especially with uh, Covid and people with uh, mental uh, health issues or mental problems like myself, I have OCD and anxiety and depression. Uh, the thought of actually going out now and actually doing things outside is a little bit daunting. So please take, uh, especially those new line, line yards which has no face plate, uh, no face required. Uh, I do have a line yard for anxiety, which gets me to the front of queues because I find queuing uh, it heightens my anxiety. So please be aware of people like that. It's it's a horrible thing to have. It's something we don't have any control over. And when we are actually in an anxious phase, it's very very uh, upsetting. But I'm trying to get classes uh, done uh, at the Civic Hall again. Uh, I need to get over my anxiety for that actually. That's why I brought in the anxiety thing. That it's something that I need to work out first two, before I can actually implement one. anything. Exercise okay, three, so three, I'm one. sorry about that. So let's go to the skier. Yeah, so that's the reason why I brought that up because people are actually going back to the Civic Hall. Uh, they're only allowing one class at a time in the big hall or one meeting. So I need to figure out when to do things. Uh, so that's another anxiety. Uh, and the problem with OCD mixed with anxiety is basically perfectionist sy syndrome. Everything needs to be perfect and that's my problem. Three, anyway, so three, two, two one. one. Enough of me. How are you doing? Are you doing all right with this? I hope so. So we've got the reverse lunge shoulder press next. Three, two, one. Right, so reverse lunge and shoulder press. Two. Well, the good news, especially about mental health awareness and everything like that, is some of the peer talk groups, some of the uh, uh, talking help is actually re starting to come back. Uh, a week on Monday is the first one in Skipton in the local area. So please be aware of that. So if you want to know more, go to peertalk.org.uk. I think it's not UK. So just look out for that. 
because there are more and more people with mental health problems due to the COVID. Three, two, so we've got to be careful. One, change. I hope everyone else is all right. I hope you're not feeling offended by me talking about this. So we're going to do box kickovers again. I'm going to go back to the stool. Three, two, one. Exercise three. Ah, let's go. I do find though that the lower down you go, the more air, air you can get. But, oh, what the heck? <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting grass all over the floor from my trainers. Should have cleaned them up fully last night. Twelve seconds. Three, two, two one. Hey, you even push that out of the way now. Ah, right coordinates. Yeah, the two, one. Exercise three point. Arm four. press up and out. On side to side. Again, the Facebook channel is no longer telling me how many people are actually watching. So all of you out there, all probably one and a half of you. Hello. Keep it going. Ten seconds. Five. Three, two, one. Change. Brilliant, right, right. We've got dumbbell punches next. So if you want to roll those shoulders, just get the finish out. You can do. Remember, nice wide stance. Knee slightly bent, bum backwards. Really keep that core stable. Three, two. One. Ah, let's go. I haven't put any five. numbers again on my core on the core section. Oh dear me. Right, we'll have to play that by ear. Twenty seconds. Keep going, come on, let's go for it, let's go for it. Come on, beat Rocky Balboa. Ten seconds. Five, three, three two, two, one. Change. Brilliant, right, we're gonna do TikTok. Gosh, temperature really hot. It? The sun's going in, clouds are going in, temperature's rising. I'm not gonna sing it. Three seconds. Two, up in the position. Time position. Exercise oh, let's go from six. side to side. Try and keep those shoulder blades down, don't hunch up as you do it. 20 seconds left, halfway through. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, two one. one. Brilliant. Last, Change. last two, two. Oh. I'm going to try and keep your shoulder blades down. And when you go back, bring them back. So when you're rolling round and down, you should be three, trying to almost get a two, row in. One. Oh, let's go. You notice that whenever my hands go up, I bob up. My hands go down, they go down. Now, if I told you to reverse that, that you went down when your hands go into up, it's a difficult thing, but it's good for mental discipline. That's why I like doing these exercises, especially with the more complicated ones, because it exercises the brain. And it actually has been found to actually help Alzheimer's. 
because it's making you think of several different things at the same time. Three, it's giving two, you brain exercise as well. Water Excellent, brilliant water break, and then we'll do the uh, core exercises. So we are going to do 12 lunging alternative, alternative, alternative toe touches. We're going to do 12 standing curl ups, and we're going to do 20 standing twists. 12, 12, 20. So, what do we mean by this? We'll start with the weights. What we're going to do is we're going to lunge forward and then touch alternate toes with the, with the opposite hand. So 12 with those, so six on either side. Okay? For the curl ups, we're going to get uh, your dumbbells close, you're going to curl up to a ball and then back up again. Curl up, so you're going to go curl up as best you can and back up again. Curl up and back up, trying to use your abdominals to actually really curl you in. Standing twists, give it arms out, twist to the side, twist to the side. It's easy as that. Okay, are you ready? Oh wow, we've got 15 seconds left yet, sorry. So lunging alternating toe touches. Brilliant. Sometimes I get some really nice long words. Two, right, you ready? And let's go to lunge and then touch with the opposite hand. Or as near as possible. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, two more, 11, 12, brilliant, right, we're going to do those curl ups now, you've got to do it nice and slowly, don't want to get dizzy on the way back up, okay, so we're going to curl down, squeeze, and up, one, down, squeeze, two, three, four, so I've got my knees together, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Brilliant. Right, twenty standing twists. You're going to put your arms inwards, you can do. So I'm going to start outwards, we're going to go to the side, one, two, three, try and waist, tw uh, oh, twist at the waist, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Excellent, good work everyone. Right, have a quick breather. I'm going to have a quick bit of water. It's very warm in this kitchen. Always the authoritarian man music. Right. Let's do it again. So lunging alternating toe touches, 12 of them. Are you ready? I'm going to start with my green leg and pink hand. Are you ready? And let's go. So don't start lunging, uh, don't start reaching until you've already done your lunge. Three. That just solves back problems. Five. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, oh, 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 eleven, that's it, good, twelve, brilliant, right, standing curl ups, are you ready, and curl down, and up, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one more. 12, brilliant. Right, last exercise for the stretching. Whoa. Arms out. And one. Twist. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Brilliant. Right, roll those shoulders, like pull the weights down. I always want to put them over there on the table in front of the microphone. So, <laughs> right. So let's do those stretches. So we'll do a standing stretch. Oh no, we'll do sit down stretches actually. If you're on the stool or your, uh, your chair, it doesn't matter which one. Let's get it back out again. We'll sit, sit slightly in the front, feet slightly wider than the shoulder width apart. What we'll do is we'll try and reach the opposite toe with the opposite hand. Try and keep that leg straight. Most people want to kink the leg up like that to make it easier. We're we'll trying to stretch the hamstrings. As you can see as well, you're pulling your toe up as well, so you're actually doing your calf at the same time. That reminds me, I need to ask my daughter if she's done a calf stretch this morning. Three, two, one, and change sides. Oh, this one's a tight one. Three, two, one, cool down. Right, well actually that's actually the hamstrings are over and done with, that's good. So we're going to sit up, what we're going to do is we're going to put our heel, sorry, our, yeah, our ankle and our knee, I'm just going to push down with that hand. If you can't get your, your ankle up, uh, you can have, you can you put a towel around it to help assist, or you can put your leg a little bit lower. But try not to lock your leg out because you can actually damage your knee and after today's knee uh, talk you're probably really confused anyway. You know what happens when I talk about things. Three, two, one and down. Right, same knee, what we're going to do is we're going to bring it up to the chest, try and bring the heel into the, into the glutes, really bring it in. Sit up tall. Two, one, and down. So alternate leg, we will do put up onto the for the cross leg. It's serpine four, but it's almost like having your legs crossed. Push down. If you want a little bit more, if you can't push down more on that leg, you can always push up on the other one on the heels, but you might get cramped in the bottom of your foot. I feel like Val Dooney can sat at one side, and a guitar. Can't play guitar. Right, knee into your chest. Two, one, and this is what I like just to actually try and stretch the top part of your legs. Is basically put your legs in a 90 degree angle, and then just reach down, touch the floor. You can feel it really nicely pull just above your where your lumbar spine is, and you can feel it pulling slightly on your glutes. So try and get down onto your knees so your chest is touching your knees. 
If you find it too easy, you can always move your legs slightly apart and try and go further down. But try and keep your back as straight as possible. You won't be able to keep it fully straight. If you do have hip problems, hip pain, put it slightly wider as well. It actually does stretch the hips as well at the same time. Right, let's go up. Come back more into the middle. What we're going to do is the sit up, we're going to stick our chest out, almost rounding our spine backwards. We're just trying to stretch those abdominals. We're going to put our arms back and push back as well at the same time. Turn those hands over and push back more. I always like doing it this way. Because you've already pre-stretched your chest and your shoulders. Doing this gives an extra stretch. And as you start, this slightly stretches the biceps at the same time, which are a very hard muscle to stretch. Brilliant, let's reach up. And really stretch out. And what we're going to do is the slowly stretching out, elevate it, going down. Try and push your hands away as you're coming down towards the front of yourself. You should feel it really changing in your shoulders. But you can really push out. Try and go down towards your knees. That's it. Oh, sweating the eye. And let's go back up. So really push out, trying to touch those walls the other side of the room and the ceiling. Excellent, good, we're going to do it again. Really stretch out. Oh, I feel so good. This is really good after a good day's work as well, especially after the computer or a desk or driving. And up again. And release. And thank you very much, everybody. Uh, hopefully I'll see you all on Monday at half past Three, nine. Two, and as the one, timer says... Your timer is complete. Time is complete. Right, well, thank you very much all for coming. Uh, I'm, I hope you have a good weekend and uh, a healthy weekend, a safe weekend. And uh, I'm going to give you many blessings. I hope that you all have fun. And I'll see you again on Monday at half past nine. Take care, God bless.